Hello friends, this is Shashank here and in this video I'm going to show you how to partition your SD card memory to use it as an internal memory on your device. Now first of all make sure that you back up your SD card because this process is going to erase everything available on your SD card. Also make sure that your device is rooted because it will not work on unrooted device. Normally there are two methods of partitioning SD card. First method is by using row manager app and second method is by booting into clockwork mode recovery. Now let's go through the first method first. Now in the uh, first method, first of all what you have to do is to download the row manager app available in the play store. Uh, it is available at free. First of all download it and install it on your device and then open the row manager app. Now in the row manager, select partition SD card. And the main limitation of this method is it only allows us to partition up to 512 megabytes. So select the size as per requirement and press OK. And in the swap size, select 32 megabytes or 64 megabytes. Don't go beyond 64 megabytes. And then press OK. And then it will show up with a warning message of uh, that partitioning SD card will delete uh, everything on your device. And what you have to do is to press OK. And then it will boot your device, and you will get uh, you will get the desired internal memory you have selected. Now the second method is for the people having clockwork mode recovery installed on their devices. So now boot into clockwork mode recovery it will take some time now as soon as you get into clockwork mode recovery go to advanced and then select partition SD card and as you can see this method overcomes the limitation of the room manager app in the room manager app you were only able to partition up to 512 megabytes but in this method you can partition all the way up to 4, 4 gigabytes now select the memory as per requirement and then press ok then select the swap size of 32 or 64 don't go beyond it and then press ok and it will start the procedure of partitioning and uh, it uh, the amount of time it takes is dependent on your device now as the partitioning gets completed go back to the main menu of the clock mode recovery and reboot your system Now after the device gets rebooted, the last procedure left is applied to both the methods. So in this procedure, first of all, we have to download an app called Link to SD, which is available uh, for free in Play Store. First of all, download the app and then open it. Now uh, after opening the app, it will ask you to select the system for your SD card second partition. Uh, now select EXT3 and hit OK and then it will tell you that the mount script has, has been created and uh, you have to restart your device then press ok and uh, then restart your device Now again as the device gets rebooted, open the app and then press option key and then go to storage info and then you in the storage info you can see that there are uh, two partitions available for SD card one is of 6.39 gigabyte and the other is of 1 gigabyte that I have created which is second partition. Now I will show you how to link apps to the SD card. Uh, first of all select the app which you want to link to the SD card uh, here I am linking the whatsapp app to the SD card now click on the app and then it will show you the option of create link 
click on create link and then press ok and then it will it will link the selected app to the SD card and uh, and then you can you will be able to see that the app is linked to the SD card here also, also this app is a feature of auto linking uh, applications which will help you to link any application you install on the device whether it is from the Play Store or from any other source so uh, to enable the auto link feature click on option button and then go to settings and then enable the auto link by checking the auto link checkbox and then as soon as you install any app on your device uh, whether it is from the play store or from any other source uh, uh, it will automatically link to the SD card partition that you have created so that was all for the video and if you if you like the video please hit the like button and uh, if you have any queries then comment below in the comment section and thanks for watching